Want to start an online personal training business, but you're not sure where to start? Well, listen, I've got you covered. I'm going to break down exactly what you need to be doing if you want to start an online personal training business right now. Hey, it's Lee Constantin here, the founder of Personal Training Salit. We help personal trainers attract high-end clients and grow their income with online marketing. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for more videos like this. So you want to get an online personal training business off the ground, you want to start getting clients and working with clients online so you can be remote and work from wherever you want around the world, even if we're in a lockdown, even if we're in a pandemic, well, listen right now because I want to break down to you really the things that you need if you want to start an online personal training business. And to, to be honest, it's not as much as you might think. It's not as crazy and as complex as you might think. And hey, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a free training that's going to help you get started right now. So the very first thing you need before you go and enter into the online market is a target market. When it comes to finding clients online, starting a business online, it's a very crowded marketplace and you can get lost in the noise of people who are marketing themselves online. So you want to find a target market or what we call a niche. So a niche is a segment of the market, a group of people that have a specific problem. And the reason why you need one in today's world is because there is so much competition. You aren't just competing with other people who are online personal trainers, but you're competing with the thousands of companies, apps, programs, um, supplements, and everything out there for their attention. If you want to stand out online, if you want to succeed when it comes to starting your online personal training business, pick a small segment of the market, a target market, a niche, group of people who you can resonate with and you can help. The key with this market is really to go after a target market that you feel passionate about. I was on the coaching call the other day with our personal trainers, elite academy clients, and you know some of the trainers get really stuck around this topic of defining a niche, finding the right target market, and defining what we call the ideal client profile. And the reason why is because they're thinking too far outside of their circle. One of the best ways to find your ideal clients, uh, target your ideal client profile, is to find people that you resonate with. Maybe you have a backstory of losing weight and you can connect with people who've, who are going through that journey. Or maybe you're a busy mom and you've got so many things on the go and you know, you've managed to stay healthy and fit. Or maybe you've gone through some tragic accident in your life and you've use fitness to regain muscle and strengthen your body. But there's people out there going through similar kind of things. Your story um, can really become the market of people that you can help because when you can share that, when you can tell your story and people can connect with you as the person, that's gonna make it easier to sign up with clients because they're gonna resonate with you and your story and see that you've achieved something that they want to achieve. Think deeply about this part because who you define as your target market can really decide if you're going to enjoy your business, if you're gonna stick around long term. And I've jumped from different target markets and niches around my fitness career from helping guys, helping people compete and get on stage, helping women, helping guys get lean, helping women in menopause. And what I discovered from jumping around all these different niches is you really wanna get it right first. You really wanna focus. Now, you might not be perfect, but you wanna be targeted in your marketing messages so your ads can resonate, so your social media posts can resonate. So everything you create, right up to the program and the community that they're in, is all congruent. So spend some time on defining that before you start going out and trying to build your online personal training business. Next, you wanna focus on one social media traffic source. Now, this is really where it becomes so overwhelming because nowadays we've got how many? 25 million different social media platforms. You've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Clubhouse now, TikTok, YouTube. There's just so many. The best way to be successful when it comes to starting your online personal training business, just pick one of them. Pick one of them and go all in. Now, I'm telling you that because it can become so time consuming to try and be on all these different platforms. And if you try and be on all of them, you're not gonna really give your best. You're not gonna be focused and you're not gonna really go deep into finding your target market. If you're focusing on Facebook groups or Facebook marketing, you're not going deep into the groups and researching where they are, and you're just kind of dabbling because you're busy looking for hashtags where people are, or you're busy look, jumping into clubhouse rooms, or you know, you're looking through tweets, you're not gonna be really going all in on one of those strategies. And so go all in on one social media platform where your ideal clients will be, where that target market that you defined will be. And that's so important because 
if you are going onto platforms that they aren't spending time, you're going to waste a lot of time. Now, it's most likely that they are going to be on all these different platforms, but they are most likely going to be spending more time on one or two of them, right? So define which platform that you feel your target market is going to spend most time in and just go all in. Just think right now, if you're targeting professional workers who are working in a corporate job, they're probably on LinkedIn. If you're targeting you know, moms or families and people that like community, they're probably going to be on Facebook and in Facebook. If you're targeting people who just like, who love photography, they're probably going to be on Instagram, right? You get the idea. When you're defining your target market, that's going to help you find where they might be. So when you pick the platform, you can go all in on focusing on that strategy that's going to help you find them and start adding value. That's really the key when it comes to marketing on social media or posting on social media is you wanna be adding incredible amounts of value on any one of these platforms that you choose because that's what's gonna make people attracted to you. Next, you wanna create a high ticket offer for this target market that you have defined. Great, so you're posting content, you're engaging people, you're creating this community of people who love what you're about, love your story, love that you're helping them. Now you need to create a high ticket program that's actually gonna help them get the result, okay? Because your content isn't gonna really create massive transformation. It might create motivation and like desire to do something, but they're not gonna get a result just by reading or consuming your content. So we need to create a program that's gonna get them the result. Now, before you start creating some 12 week super intense program with the best diet plan, the best training plan, you wanna get clients first. So you wanna get people on the phone. You wanna start talking to your ideal clients and start finding out what they need so you can create a program that is specifically tailored to them. Big mistake trainers make when starting an online personal training business is they start trying to create this program first and then going out and selling it, right? Before you find out what they need. You need to find out what they need, give them what they want, okay? And then deliver what they need. And you need to know what they want. You need to know what their wants and desires are for you to go and actually sell them based on that. And I will link to another video where I teach you how to actually sell a high ticket program but you need to listen to the market before you start selling your program. A big mistake that I made was creating eBooks, creating membership sites, creating programs, and then trying to sell it to the market rather than hearing from them what they want. And if you do that, you're gonna create something that is specifically created for them. It's gonna be easier to sell high ticket because it's personalized and it's exactly what they are looking for. So listen to the market, get on calls, do your research, ask questions in groups, Find out what they want so that when you create your program, you already have created it with them in mind. Then the final step to starting your online personal training business is to sell it and then create it. Okay, sell it and then create it. So what I mean is sell this high ticket program that you have spent time on defining what's, what you're going to do and then create it. You're only going to create it once you have a paying client. Okay, it doesn't make sense to go and create plans or diets or training plans before you have a client because no one's actually paying you for that. It's kind of like a restaurant cooking all the dishes off their menu and then trying to weigh people in, right? The food's gonna go cold and they might not even want what they've made. So, and they're gonna waste a lot of money. So don't go and waste time and effort creating programs, diet plans, downloading all the fancy apps that are gonna give you the most cool, sexy business. Go and get somebody to pay you first validate that there is a market that want what you are selling, they want your offer, they want the program that you've created. Okay, once you have that validation from the market, then you create the program for that person. You wanna create it personalized and specific to them so that actually gets them the result. And that's how you're going to start building your business. Because now that they've paid you, you they can, they've can now funded your business. Now you can do other things. You can start with your ads. You can invest in the systems, the, the, the scaling strategies, all the other things that maybe we can help you with. So that's how you wanna get started with your online personal training business. Those are some quick tips. And if there's a free training below in the description, go ahead, click the link. Um, it's a free training where I break down the magnet method that we use to go out and attract clients to us, if that's something you would like to learn. And hey, give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notifications every time I release a new training video like this. Only if you, you like this stuff, of course. And stay tuned for more videos and thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you soon.